You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your weekly spoilers from Monday, August 21st, all the way through Friday, August 25th. There is a whole bunch to unpack. This week is going to be heavy on Victor Kyriakis flashbacks, I am quite certain, but his funeral slash memorial service is not happening happening until the following week, which starts on Monday, August 28th. That is the week of his service. So I generally don't like when soaps feed us a lot of flashbacks. I feel like it's them filling up space, not wanting to write as much, or them showing us things that we perfectly remember happened, and it's kind of insulting like they don't think we're really watching closely when most soap fans watch and I think recall more than the writers writing these soaps do. All right, so there is going to be a lot to see of Victor. And again, I'm not a fan of flashbacks. I'm excited about seeing these. All right, Monday, August 21st is episode 241 of season 58 of Days of Our Lives. And we have Nicole looking back at her past with Victor Kiriakis. Remember, they were married at one point and she actually tried tried to kill him twice. Both times she had an assist from other people, but nonetheless, she was the one who wanted him dead. And now that he is dead, I wonder if she is going to be overcome with guilt. That's not a look we see on her often, but she is also a very different person now than she was back then. All right, we also have on Monday, Xander running into a very pregnant Sarah Horton, and she is going to lie right to his face and say that it's Rex Brady's kid. Maybe Xander is so distracted by Victor's death or the stuff going on with Chloe and him trying to get engaged to her. Maybe he won't think about it too much, but I think he will soon or maybe Chloe will. We shall see. Melinda Trask needs some legal assistance from Sloane Peterson on Monday, and I wonder if it's something to do with nailing Lee for trying to kill Stefan. She doesn't know for sure that he did, but Stefan's really pressing her on it. We also see Sean Brady taking the blame for Victor's plane crash. Now, The plane took off three days earlier than everyone expected it to, and the question is, was he flying straight from Greece to Salem and the plane actually went down three days prior, or did he stop somewhere on the way and then was flying from there, and that's when the plane crashed? Because if Victor took a side trip, you know, that's not Sean's fault, And but Sean's blaming himself because Victor was in Greece to visit Bo, who is in a coma because Sean shot him, but Sean kind of had to shoot him. I mean, really? All right, before we dig into Tuesday spoilers, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives spoilers news and more. All right, Tuesday, August 22nd is season 58, episode 242, and we have Lee Shen planning a romantic evening out. He thinks that he is going to sex her into being distracted about this whole Stefan situation, and she wants to nail him for this Stefan situation. So watching them work at cross purposes should be a lot of fun. We also have Chanel and Johnny talking about their feelings. Plus, Sloane tries to confess, but someone interrupts. I wonder if she's trying to confess to Eric about the dirty DNA deed that she did, but I feel like it might be Melinda that interrupts them. I'm not entirely certain, but there's another Melinda spoiler on Tuesday saying that Melinda could spill Sloane's dirty DNA secret, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't based on spoilers we have for later in the week. Midweek on days, Wednesday, August 23rd, episode 243, Gwen Rizchek walks in on someone doing the deed. It is her husband, DVL, and Leo, maybe? I mean, they keep doing it like bunnies constantly, and in the room she's sharing with her husband, who is actively avoiding consummating their marriage. So, I don't know. I mean, it's well past time she figures out that Lady Whistleblower is giving some service to DVL. All right. Someone questions the legitimacy of Gwen and Dimitri's marriage midweek. And I wonder if it's Gabby Hernandez. I wonder if by then she shook the secret out of Rachel Black that she saw Leo and Dimitri playing hide the salami. Well, 
heard she didn't see that would have been really disturbing but she she knew about it all right also on wednesday ava vitale's credibility is questioned here's my question for whoever wrote this spoiler how does a lunatic who has been sent to a psychiatric hospital for homicidal manic tendencies have any credibility to question She should have none, right? All right, that same day, Tripp and Wendy weigh a significant decision. Right now, they are roommates. They're living in two separate bedrooms. Maybe they are pondering moving in together, even though they already live together, actually moving in together now that they've, you know, decided to be intimate and everything. All right, Thursday, August 24th on Days of Our Lives is season 58, episode 244. EJ DeMera has himself a scary nightmare, a bad dream, and he sees it as an omen. Is this a nightmare about the unborn child that Nicole is carrying that he thinks is his, but we all know is really Eric Brady's baby? We also have Harris trying to calm down Ava at Bayview. I just have to tell you guys, I love these scenes of them together, and it's because I'm a longtime GH watcher also, and Tamara Braun, who plays Ava, used to play Carly Corinthos a long time ago, a couple of decades ago, on General Hospital, and Steve Burton plays Harris Michael, and I don't think he was romantically involved with Tamara's version of Carly, but they were best friends, so we had a ton of scenes of Tamara Tamara and Steve playing best friends over on General Hospital. And there's this vibe happening over on Days. And of course, Ron Carlovati worked over there back in the day. He's the showrunner of Days and he used to be the head writer at GH. So I think that's why he likes them together. It's why I like them together. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. And I hope you guys are too. All right. Also on Thursday, Melinda is behaving very suspiciously. And I'm sure it's out on that date with Lee because she's trying to do what Stefan wants and get a confession and should be really wonky. We also see Marlena and Roman Brady remembering Victor Kiriakis on Thursday. Rolling into Friday, August 25th, it's episode 245 of the current season. And we have Kate Roberts getting a surprising visit from someone. And I think that someone is probably going to be John Paul Lavoise as Philip Kiriakis. I do appreciate the people who commented to correct me. I don't mind you correcting me. I I take it all in. I don't have a perfect memory. And the commenter reminded me that Rex, Roman, Paulina, Victor, and Lucas all know that Philip is alive. For some reason, I did not remember that Rex and Lucas knew. So thank you for reminding me. We also have Chloe Lane surprised. It could be by Xander or it could be by Philip because remember Philip was so obsessed with her. That's why he faked his death to frame Brady Black. All right. Melinda has advice for Sloan about her relationship with Eric Brady. And I'm certain her advice is going to be something like, hey, girl, just keep on lying. All right. We have one big last spoiler for Friday and we're going to unpack that for you in one second. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our day's videos and if you're enjoying these day's spoilers please click us a like and definitely drop your comments i read them all and i appreciate all of them all right sarah confesses to someone that she lied to xander about their baby but is she confessing to xander i feel like it's too soon for that even though this has been dragging on a while i just feel like she's had one interaction with him and i i just don't think she's going to tell that fast but maybe she's just telling rex what happened Maybe she's telling Maggie. I don't think Maggie's going to handle it very well if she does. With Maggie just losing her soulmate, I think she might come unglued at Sarah if she finds out that she lied to Xander's face about this baby. All right, that's everything we have for the week of Monday, August 21st through Friday, August 25th. Come back to Soap Dirt on YouTube soon for your two-week spoilers, casting news, and more. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>